Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Jean Logan Piano Prize Concert. And uh, I'd like to welcome those in the audience, as intimate as we are, but also we have, so I'm told, up to about a 1,000 people uh, viewing in online with the stream concert. So we've actually filled to maximum capacity with a 1,000 people in the audience. So um, this is a very special day because the Jean Bogan uh, Piano Competition Prize was set up in 2002 by Jean Bogan's husband, Laurie Bogan, who uh, put in $100,000 uh, for this uh, prize. And every two years we award two prizes, uh, a youth prize and the um, open prize. And so today we will be presenting the two winning compositions. Um, the pianist is Michael Kieran Harvey, and for those who don't know Michael Kieran Harvey, he's one of Australia's uh, celebrated pianists and has dedicated his life to playing uh, new music as well as composing his own works. Uh, so that's also another treat for us. Um, so without further ado, I'd like Michael, please welcome Michael to the stage. I'd like him to say something, uh, and then we will introduce the first of the composers. So here's Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Vella. Uh, I'm supposed to say something. I'm not sure what I should say, except to say how delighted I am to be presenting this year's um, winners of the Jean Bogan Prize because uh, both Paul Copeland and John Rotar are composers whose works have been recognised for uh, their outstanding uh, sophistication and I think you'll see that as this uh, program unfolds. It's difficult to justify uh, writing for the piano these days, I feel, given the tremendous uh, demands on people's time and attention from, through other media. This is a very old instrument now, and yet it is an instrument that does show up the inadequacies of people as composers because of its, the difficulty to write for it well. And I'm just so delighted to uh, be so confident um, that the compositions you're going to hear today are really very well written and of an extremely high standard. And it gives me great pleasure to see that the instrument retains its sense of uh, relevance in, so in our culture uh, through the, um, the fact that such uh, events like this to encourage writing for it uh, continue and that composers like Paul and John uh, continue to devote their considerable energies to producing works for it. Um, I hope you feel the same as you're listening to it. I'm dressed in this way because of the second piece I'm going to play. That's called Audacious Binary Forms. And Paul has decided that his piece will uh, reflect in every possible way this sense of the binary. And I think it's incredible, uh, incredibly apt, really, that uh, he's decided to go this way because of the, um, well, in my mind anyway, the threats on democracy from uh, the binary ideas which are now cementing themselves in the world. And so black and white, you can't get much more binary than that. Um, you know, religion and secular society, you can't get much more binary than that. And poor old democracy is trying to uh, uh, integrate all of these forces, these binary forces, which are determined to uh, entrench themselves and uh, destroy uh, what we have as a culture. And so for me anyway, I find that it's an extraordinary... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just going with my stream of consciousness. Bear with me. But um, I've, uh, I should just explain what I get out of the uh, pieces as I play them. And uh, that's what I like to see, that there's a depth, a profundity, if you like, in music. It's not just about virtuosity or the surface elements. There's some thought 
uh, gone into the, uh, the question, why write for the instrument? Why write music? Why go to all this trouble when it's at our fingertips in garage band, etc.? when it's all manufactured for us and everybody's a composer. Why go to all this trouble? Uh, the next piece is, the winner of the, uh, is by the winner of the uh, open section of the, uh, the Gene Bogan competition. And uh, it's a music theatre work. Um, Paul will say more about it when he comes up on stage. But... It's very hard to define music theatre, but uh, it has many different definitions depending on the period we're looking at. But one could, if we took at the word theatre as being some type of an event happening within some type of space, then music theatre is some type of musical event happening in a space, and that could be anything from gestural or sounds working in a space together like simultaneous sounds. So it's a very open uh, type of... Uh, definition and this piece juxtaposes the one you've just heard quite lovely because the first one was more around musical ideas within the work whereas this one starts bringing in external ideas based on quotation or commentary so all of a sudden the music the work becomes a discourse of ideas so uh, it begins with uh, one of our students Chris Pantolides will come out on stage when we start and he starts by shuffling some cards which dictates the order of events but without further ado please welcome Paul Copeland who's the winner of the uh, open section of the Gene Bogan Piano Prize and he will say a few words. Good afternoon. I would like to acknowledge the Jean Bogan Trust for pro providing this prize. This competition has inspired many Australian composers to contribute to the repertoire for the piano. Thank you, Michael, for being willing to play the piece. I would like to thank Alicia Jane Laney, Finance and Administration Officer of the Conservatorium, who was extremely helpful with printing the score instructions on the day of the deadline for submission. Thanks are due to Christy Hay at Vince and Activities Coordinator for her assistance and advice regarding the performance in this wonderful concert hall. Thank you, Professor Richard Valor and Professor of Music at the Conservatorium for your advice regarding certain aspects of the score. I must add that the score was submitted anonymously and no one on the adjudicating committee knew that I was the composer. Thank you also for Colin Spears. I would look, like to give special thanks for my beautiful and patient wife, Alison, for putting up with my adrenaline rushes as I worked almost non-stop in the final weeks of composition to get the score f finished and delivered by the deadline. Indeed, I had to send the score to the conservatorium by overnight courier so as to reach the deadline. Here is a little bit about the composition. The work is dedicated in memory of my only composition tutor, Felix Verder. The work is specifically written with the layout of the Harold Lobb Concert Hall in mind and the availability of the two grand pianos. Audacious binary forms is in what I call fractured binary form. Two types of structures exist, Lettered structures, which are experimental and explore some unusual sonorities of the piano, and numbered structures, which are more traditional. The structures can, at the discretion of the performer, be played in any order, either predetermined or randomly chosen. I hope that you enjoy my contribution to the piano literature. Thank you for watching the concert in person or via the live feed, and God bless.
little bit of a mess now.
All aboard. Make haste. The train leaves in five minutes, five seconds.
And uh, would John like to come up on stage too, please? Uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, thank you, Paul. And John comes on stage for a final uh, roll call. <laughs> And also, thank you for Christopher for yes. that very well practiced bit. Uh, thank you. Okay. And I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you for coming on, on a rainy day and also for all those people who logged in to uh, view the concert online. Thank you very much. And congratulations, both of them. The bar's open. <laughs>